Hey guys, this week for Weapons Wednesday, I wanted to do things a little bit different. I've been thinking a lot about some of the questions I had on different gear and weapons that we sell. And one of the things that kept coming to mind is, you know, we've been selling the ninja hand claws and foot spikes and grappling hooks for a long time. How legitimate are they actually at climbing? So I just thought I'd take a look at some of that stuff and uh, we could get an idea together of how legitimate they would be. And I'm actually going to take them outside and try climbing a tree with them, just to see. So anyway, um, the first thing I wanted to start with today was the Caltrops. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with these, but uh, all they are is they're little spikes that um, ninjas and samurai used to carry uh, to uh, slow down the people who were tracking them from behind. So just to give you an idea, the ones we carry look like this. And they're little, they're little twisted pieces of metal um, that if you sprinkled on the ground, they would totally slow down an attacker. Uh, back in feudal Japan, the ninjas used to throw things like this behind them, but it, they, they typically weren't made just like this. They were often like nails that were twisted together. Um, one interesting thing is um, when they used to carry shuriken, they would often throw the shuriken into the ground and so that people following behind would actually step on the shuriken so it would hurt them that way. Um, so I think it's a really cool, cool piece of ninja equipment. Um, yeah, so the main thing I wanted to look at today, though, were the uh, the hand claws, the Shuko hand claws. Um, now, I did a little bit of research on these, and in feudal Japan, they actually looked very different than this. Um, they would often come out of the front. So, like, the ninjas would wear them, and they would come out the front to act like a claw. Um, but nowadays, these ones that, uh, that we have are kind of held like this and you'd put them on your hands and you could climb a tree with them. They actually, as a climbing utensil, I'm not sure how good they're going to be. We're going to find out. Uh, but as far as doing martial arts techniques with them, these things are ultra effective. Like if I were to do a joint manipulation or, you know, um, some sort of arm raking, that could really, really be an effective weapon. Um, I definitely, I definitely see why these would be a valuable ninja tool, uh, but I am curious to go take these outside and try them out on the tree. Um, so we'll go do that in a minute. Uh, these are called uh, shuko hand claws, is uh, is how they were pronounced in Japan, um, and they were originally made out of iron, but uh, these ones are made out of steel. So let's see, and then we also have the. A shiko, which is the foot spikes. Yeah, so these were uh, often strapped to the bottom of shoes or tabby boots um, by the samurai or the ninjas. Um, you know, it's interesting because if you look at uh, you know the history behind these and the hand claws, you really can't find a whole lot. Um, we're sure that someone used them back then, and we have a pretty good guess that it was the ninjas, um, but uh, we're not 100% sure as far as how they were used, why they were used. Um, I could see these being a very effective weapon at the bottom of your foot, um, but uh, I'm very curious to see if they're gonna help with my climbing at all. And then the last thing I wanted to kind of look at was the grappling hook. And this is what I've been most curious about over the years. So I'm just going to open one of these guys up. Um, whether or not a grappling hook can actually support me and help me to get up a tree. Um, I just want to state the obvious, the disclaimer that don't try this at home because I don't know, you don't know if a tree branch is going to break. You don't know, you know, if uh, the cord over time could break. But I'm going to test it out because I want to see if one of these grappling hooks will actually help me to uh, climb a tree. So let's just see what we got here. Looks like we've got some, some cord, some cable, some rope. Um, pretty strong nylon rope is what it looks like. I don't know what weight that can hold, but that looks like fairly strong nylon rope. 
Um, and then the, the cool thing about these grappling hooks is that they, uh, they're very portable. Like, uh, you can, you can really, uh, break them down to a small size. Um, and, uh, all I do is I just kind of stuff this in there. Okay. And then put this guy on. Yeah, so then you just kind of twist that. And there's the grappling hook. So um, put the thing on top. And then let's see, then I just have to tie the cable to it. And I think, let's see. I think I'm just gonna do a quick square knot on that guy. And that should be sufficient enough. Yeah, that should be that should be plenty tight for me to do a grappling hook demonstration just to see just to see if that can hold me. So um, let's go ahead and go outside. Let's test out the hand claws and foot spikes. Um, I'm just gonna have you guys follow me outside and we'll go see see if they work. Um, we're Karate Mart is kind of in a uh, more commercial neighborhood. So I don't know what the neighbors are going to think seeing me try to climb a tree in a commercial neighborhood, but uh, we waited until it was late enough that hopefully all the neighbors are gone. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Otherwise, I'm going to look a little foolish outside trying to climb a tree. And we're in Arizona also, so you don't have like a woods. You don't have um, a lot of nice oak trees to climb. I don't even know what kind of trees we have out here, so let's just see. Okay, right in the front of our building, you can see that we've got a palm tree. And, uh, you know, when I was younger, I tried to climb one of those, and it didn't turn out well for me, because palm trees, you get little tiny splinters all through your arms. Uh, but I saw this tree over here. I don't know if you can get that on camera, but uh, here, let's just take you around here so you don't fall. <laughs> um, yeah, this tree looks like it's kind of dying on one side. Um, but what I like about it, what will make this a good tree for us to test out is that the branch is too tall for me to actually grab. Um, so it's gonna force me to have to try to use one of these ninja tools just to see if it's actually possible to climb this thing. So, I don't know, look, I mean, I'm six foot four. I'd be willing to bet that that branch is probably about, I don't know, maybe 12 feet, 14 feet, something like that. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if it's possible. Okay, so the problem I'm gonna have with this grappling hook is when I get it up there, I'm gonna have to hold onto this rope and try to pull myself up. But this is like a really thin rope and it's gonna be very difficult to get any sort of grip on it to pull myself up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by just creating some loops in it, a few knots, so I have something to hold on to. So I'm just gonna create a loop kind of towards the top of it, which is really simple to do. And I'm gonna create another loop just a little bit further down, maybe about that big. There, I got two knots, make a third one, maybe right about here. What's nice about these is they're, they're actually strong enough for me to either pull myself or to step in. Okay, so I added loops to the rope and now all I've got to do is get it up in the tree. It's up there, not exactly how I want it, but I think it might give me um, the ability to grab those loops. You never know. So let's see what we can do. Not much to grab on here, so it's gonna be all up to the rope. Okay, so first loop. Too bad they're so high because I could probably. Okay, 
that's where I want it. Okay, so, so now, now that I have the grappling hook up there, all I need to do is throw on my hand claws and my foot spikes, and let's see if we can climb this tree. So give me one second just to throw them on. All right, so here we go. to this side I'm probably up about I'm gonna guess this is probably about 12 feet something like that got my grappling hook up here um, I didn't use the grappling hook much it feels like it's got enough strength to the rope um, but overall I mean I really like the claws the claws dig right into this and like hold tight um, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give the grappling hook a little bit of a test to just see if it's got enough strength to really hold me. I'm not touching anything and that's definitely strong enough to pull me up there so that's pretty cool Let's go ahead and get down actually what's kind of neat is I used the hand claw hooks to grab onto this rope and it gave me a whole lot of extra gripping power because this rope is like I mean, it'll dig right into your hands. So actually these hand claws were a huge blessing in that respect. I cut myself up a little bit because this bark just came off with every single grab. But uh, I feel like if this was an oak tree or a, a really climbable tree, I think these things would come in really handy. And the grappling hook feels like it's definitely strong enough to hold someone, but Again, I just want to reiterate, don't try this at home because you can hurt yourself pretty bad. But if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can see our upcoming videos as we release them. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next week for Weapons Wednesday. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you how much I got injured from climbing that tree. So <laughs> if you think that I didn't try hard enough, when I got to the top of it, that's why. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a great week.